Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. If you are someone with acne prone skin like myself, then you are no stranger to skin inflammation. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about skin inflammation and how you can soothe it. Hopefully this video will help you guys get rid of any irritation that is currently on your skin. I know if you guys have been watching my channel, I recently did have a, a a reaction <laughs> to something that I was using um, but this is exactly what I use to get rid of it um, if you guys like content like this then make sure you are subscribed and without further ado let's get started Now, I do want to preface by saying I am not a dermatologist. I'm not licensed to tell you about your skin. I'm a skincare enthusiast, and everything that I'm saying right now is from my own experience as well as my own research. And perhaps you guys can use this as a jumping off point to do your own research for yourself. When you have skin inflammation, it is essentially your immune response to a stimulus, and it can appear in numerous ways. Now, it can appear as a rash on your skin, as red splotches, as eczema, it can be itchy. It can also be um, any raised bumps on your skin as well as even acne. Now I do already have a complete step-by-step -step routine of what to do when your skin reacts to a new product. So if you haven't already seen that video, it's linked above as well as down below. But in this video, I specifically want to talk about the inflammation in your skin and when there's any type of sores on your skin. That's what I really want to tackle with in this one. The first thing of course is ice. Ice is really good at soothing any inflammation, any irritation on your skin because it's so good at calming down the skin. It's great when you have muscle soreness, when you have joint aches, as well as when you have pimples. It's really good to apply it immediately because it will help get rid of any redness on your skin as well. And that is of course the easiest way to get rid of any inflammation. The next thing you can use to get rid of any redness on your skin happens to be eye drops. Now I always keep eye drops with me even when my eyes are not irritated, but I use them in different ways. And one of them happens to be to get rid of any redness. When you have redness or itchy eyes, you use eye drops because they are steroids. And this helps to calm any inflammation, itchiness, as well as any pain or swelling in your eyes. It does the same thing for your pimples. So if you have a really annoying pimple that is painful and red, apply a few drops of your favorite eye drop onto your pimple and you'll see the redness and some of the irritation go away in as little as four hours. The next thing you can use is actually aloe vera. Now you can use the actual natural gel or you can purchase aloe vera gel, um, depends on how fresh you want it to be. Aloe vera is really good at calming down, cooling and soothing the skin and it really helps to heal the skin even faster. It's made up of almost completely water and your skin needs moisture to be able to rejuvenate and heal itself. Um, this is exactly what this does. This can be used if you have dry skin, this can be used to help uh, eczema, it's what I'm using right now to help my eczema and this is so so good. It's so simple, it's natural and it works. The next thing you can use is actually ibuprofen and specifically the ones that come in a gel form. When you are menstruating or you have any type of pain, joint pains, whatever the case may be, you take ibuprofen because it helps that inflammation. It helps to relieve that pain. It does the same thing topically on your skin. So when you're in a pinch, apply a little bit of the gel. You can take like a little needle and pop the gel capsule and put it on. It's kind of like a sticky consistency, but it soaks into the skin. It does contain a little bit of alcohol. So you don't want to use this forever but in a pinch you can use this and it's going to get rid of any of the irritation as well as redness on your skin and help to have that anti-inflammatory uh, effect on your pimple so this will work as well there's actually even ibuprofen gels that you can purchase that are essentially just the gel without the capsule and you can apply that on your skin too it works really well next i want to talk about some of my favorite skin products that i've seen have a really good effect on my inflammation in my skin the first one being this niacinamide in 10 percent plus zinc one percent from the ordinary Niacinamide is an amazing ingredient for basically anything you're trying to solve. For your inflammation, for any redness on your skin, it helps to repair the skin. It also helps to uh, subtly lighten your skin. So if you have dark spots, this is going to help you as well. But using this on an everyday basis is going to just lay down the bricks, the foundation for your skin itself and really help to prevent any of that irritation and inflammation because it works on building up your skin barrier such an amazing ingredient. It's like $10. Um, you don't have to buy the niacinamide from The Ordinary, but this is just the one that I have. Niacinamide in general is amazing. 
The next thing you can use is products that target specifically repairing your skin barrier. And some of my favorites, of course, are the CeraVe products. These are hands down some of my favorite skincare products. To be honest, I'm actually really excited to use these. Even though they are boring and they don't do anything crazy for the skin, they are super, super good. They are hands down some of the best skincare products that I've tried, to be honest. Um, the one I have is the Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. And then this is the Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. These are so good. And what I love about this is that they have have niacinamide in it, which I talked about before is such an amazing ingredient. They also have ceramides and ceramides help to repair your skin barrier. Anytime when you have irritation on your skin, any type of inflammation in your skin, it's because of a compromised barrier. So your number one goal is to soothe that barrier. Hands down, if you don't even use any of this, this is going to help to heal your skin super quick. Now, while you are using this, it is really important to ensure that you're not using anything that's going to strip the skin. So you may not want to use retinol, uh, vitamin C, any types of exfoliators. You don't want to be using anything like that. But I feel like sometimes, you know, your skin still needs to be exfoliated at some point. Otherwise, you're going to end up with more problems down the line. So maybe on the fourth day of using all these products, you may want to add a, a gentle exfoliator. One of the ones that I love using is by CeraVe as well. Um, <clears throat> CeraVe, no, there, CeraVe as well. This one is their salicylic acid cleanser. So it has a little bit of BHA in it, which will help to nicely exfoliate the skin while still getting those ceramides. So it's super gentle and soothing, but it's gonna give you a little bit of that exfoliation. And I love using this in a facial wash because it's not staying on your skin. To whereas if you're using, let's say a toner or a serum that's gonna stay on your skin and can maybe cause you more irritation while you're going through your irritation outbreak, something like this, it's gonna be on your skin, exfoliate, and then you wash it completely off. So really, really good to switch out your exfoliator to a cleanser. The next two products are actually creams that I found work really well at soothing irritation for me. Um, this one is the Aven Sickle Fake Cream. It's another one of those steroid type of creams that's really going to help to just apply a moisture barrier onto your irritation. And it also is um, a steroid, once again, that's going to help preventing that itchiness and it's going to help to repair your actual skin barrier. This one is so good. It's my second tube and it's what I've been using to get rid of my eczema. It has worked really well so far. Um, the last thing is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This thing is so, so good at getting rid of any redness, any itchiness on your skin. I find that when I have um, any type of eczema, I get so, so itchy. And applying this on it, it's a thick blue cream. I'll show you guys. It doesn't smell like anything, but this blue cream is so nice. So at the end of the day, I'll just put on my aloe vera and I'll slather this all over my face before I go to bed, at least like an hour or so, so it can soak into my skin. But it has really good calming ingredients. It does not clog your pores whatsoever. And I do have combination oily skin, so I can't use anything too, too thick. But I love that this soaks into your skin really well and it helps to calm down any redness if i have really red itchy skin in the morning when i wake up it is completely gone and it is absolutely because of this that has made such a big difference in my skin those are some of the products and tips that i have for you comment down below and let us know what other tips do you find really helpful because we would all love to know and help to fight our inflammation click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video